legend of the vampire actually goes back for centuries, and it exists in some form or another in almost every culture. In fact, some people believe the first vampire story was in the Bible. But for most of us, we imagine vampires lurking in the woods, preying on small towns and villages in those hours between dusk and sunrise. Why did people believe they had so much power, and did they really exist? We went in search of the truth. On hell? Yeah, I don't think this is a very good idea for us to do this dance tonight. Yeah, I just think it's really not a good idea at all. Hey, are you sure? All right, I'll see you on the dance floor. I say, told you this was a bad idea. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Amanda and Angel. <laughs> We're gonna start here. Come on, Amanda. Her commitment is beyond the pale. Totally committed to what's going on. Sit down on the X here. Chat with us for a sec. <laughs> you have to look at me. <laughs> you're, a, you're a mess. I know. I'm, uh, I'm high from the feast I just had. So I don't know what's going on. What made you choose a tango? On hell here. He knows what he's talking about. He sent me a couple dances, and this uh -huh. was the one I was most attracted to. So The story is really cool, and you certainly went nuts with the blood at the end. Did you really bite him there? Um, no one will ever know. No one will ever know, indeed. What was most difficult about this for you? I'm not a dancer. I'm mm. not going to lie to you. Anyone who's, who's here from work, they know about my dancing. It's not very Channel good. A crew, thank you. It's not very good, mm -hmm. let's be honest. So uh, it was a huge challenge, probably the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life, to be honest. Really? Yeah. All right, well, let's see what the judges had to say about your performance. Let's get to the green X right there. So, so the Argentine style tango, there, there are three different types of tango in the world and, and the Argentine style uh, offers the most amount of flick and embellishment and, and personal small moves. It's not built to travel around the room, it's meant for a smaller environment, which is spot on for stage work. 
Uh, there's brothel style or malanga style of Argentine style tango, and then there there's the stage style, which is more showy and, and uh, a lot more lifts and, and, and whatnot. Very nice interpretation of, of your, your Argentine style tango. The flicks were fantastic. The points and the scribing, you know, we call it scribing, where the, the man traces his foot around the floor, and the foot trap, where he actually traps her feet, uh, were wonderful, well executed. Great job. I always think the tango is, the, is one of the hardest. I would think it would be the, one of the hardest because I know center of gravity in a couple of the different styles of tango is off from how we usually stand and move at, in our daily life. And I thought you mastered that really well. Um, and I thought you were at stall two in step two. <laughs> that was really a lot of fun to watch. You're welcome. Amanda, I'm just going to have to call you little Miss Demanda. Because <laughs> you had complete control over Angel. And I have watched him dance before many times, but you were fantastic. And all the footwork, and I was just watching it, and the choreograph and everything you all put into it, it, it was unbelievable. And it, it was just great to watch it. But you had control over that movie. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our final contestants of the evening, Amanda and Angel.